Or keep it going. Now Georgia, after having some inconsistency on uneven bars, takes to the perilous balance beam. Noel had a problem on the uneven bars, but put that behind you, move forward. She's got beam to come back strong. Don't you say she's a local base discipline athlete they've ever had in this program? No way you don't have a tremendous amount of nerves. On this event in particular, there's just so room for air. It's an event where they probably do the most numbers in terms of number of routines to strive for that perfection and to be able to compete under pressure. It's also the event that's probably not as hard on the body as some of the others, like vault and floor in particular. So you can do more numbers, can't you? Absolutely. Excellent routine, excellent routine. Wow. Great comeback for this gymnast. <laughs> oh, you can see it in her face. What a relief. Every time you show you can handle that type of pressure, you just get that much stronger. Suzanne, what do you got? Noel is unbelievable on beam. You're right, she has ice in her veins. I really love her dismount. Usually you see the double twist coming out of a round off, but the flip-flop, flip-flop into the double twist is a combination you do not see as often. Jay Clark's wife and the assistant coach, Kay, was a 9-6. So the scores for Auburn on beam, 9-7-5 and 9-6, as we go to Noel Couch, who had a 9-8, a 9-8-5, and then disappointment on the uneven ball. Score for Chris Tanella was a 9-8-2-5, matching Lindsay Cheek's opening performance there. Her season high on this event, 9-9. Jay Clark really has to be pleased with the way they've handled mistakes and come back from them. That's huge in this sport. Oh, huge. Wow. Great difficulty. Well done. It's nice when you see an athlete who has both the power and the technique. That was great. Showing a lot more difficulty in this routine, tumbling wise. Incredible finish, Jay Clark said. She's like former All-American Tiffany Tallnay. She's always fit. And look at the conditioning, allowing her to do that level of difficulty at the end of the routine. You're right, Bart. We've seen full twisting double back at the beginning. She ended with a pike double back. Most of the other gymnasts open their routine with that. And yet another double back in the routine for the middle pass. We'll expect a big score there. Go back to the beam. Laura Lane's two.